The next day, I was able to do some super cool blindfold mystery tattoos as well. The way those ones worked is we had four different categories that our clients picked from without seeing anything of what was on those note cards. From those four note cards that they picked, we then made a design for them and tattooed it on them without them knowing of what it was. Alright, left to right. Left to right. Alright, let's try it. Alright. They absolutely love this process. It was really cool for them to step out of their comfort zone and really see something different on their bodies. It was a lot of fun for me just because I got to expand what I was doing and do something a little bit more creative. Otherwise, you know, from outside of other tattoos, always creative, but this one definitely pushed me as well. Where do you think would be a good um, where do you think would be a good spot for, to put that? You saw the stencil. Blindfold mystery tattoos, as we'll call them. The first one was on one of my super awesome returning clients, Caitlin. She came in, she told me she wanted the most random, dumbest tattoo I could think of without her knowing anything of what it was. Oh. I am so excited. <laughs> I love doing dumb shit. <laughs> So what we did is we did a little pickle with a top hat and a cane, like in a little funky position. A super dapper gentleman. She loved it. She was super excited to have it. We were a little sad we didn't do it any bigger, but she wanted just a little tiny filler piece. Alright, take a bite from our Caitlin. Gotta look at what we, what we did on you. <laughs> He's a little bloody right now. Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> I love it, it's fantastic. A little, a little pickle wearing a top hat. Does he have a monocle? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that is perfect. Hell what yeah. What a beautiful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah.